Hey, Islam Dwayne. Um, we just walked in. It's June the 11th, 2019. We just walked in. Um, I brought kale, some more kale. We have two things of kale. Um, we're making um, um, salads with baby potatoes on the side, uh, spinach, chopped spinach. Um, meatless hold on yeah meat free this is meat free you see the word meat free barbecue wings and then I have tomatoes and um, almond milk vegan butter okay uh, and right now I'm about to close the window say Islam Imani the room is a mess, so right now I'm about to close the window and um, relax. I was going to have it open. Uh, if you look up here, you might can see what is an airplane. Do you see an airplane? Possibly. Anyway, so it's June 11, 2019. I'm about to close our window. I'm at American Extended Day. Uh, Zion was here resting and getting a lot of sunlight but now she's here um i'm gonna bring her over here money what time is it 7 25 p.m i think 7 25 p.m is a good time to bring her in um so i brought her in um so that's about it and um i can't really say money thinks uh it should air out what you see here are clothes these are clean clothes that we have to fold up and put in the drawer it's been a busy week because I had to find a notary. Um, I had to find a notary. I had to go back up to the social services food stamps for. I've been going up there since April 24th. Um, you know, uh, approximately maybe three to four times for, since April 24th till which the day is June 11th, 2019. So, um, and we, um, I. Um, I didn't get stamps June the 4th and that's what I was trying to prevent from not happening is not getting stamps June the 4th and I didn't get any stamps then I went up there after June the 4th and they said that my stamps were food stamps were processing so um, no one's been talking about suing um, out loud uh, but I did notice um, today um, at work at Burger King was pretty good. I swept. No, I didn't swept, but I kept um, the place pretty clean. Um, my area, wiping the counters off. I tried to keep the fry station sanitized. The manager, Dimas, she really just seemed to be upset with me for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I tried to wipe the um, front counter, sanitize the front counter because um, it had crumbs. And you can see the crumbs. The guests can see the crumbs. And she just like told me to move and then she would i mean she even like cursed at one point when she, um as i was trying to speak to her and i i tried to ask her i said is there anything i've done she would just like get out my face or something to move like that and she cursed and she said and i asked her i said did you just curse or use dame and and she said i wasn't talking to you so i don't know what's going on with diamond um she's the african-american or black female i don't know if she claimed a nationality the lady, um, the lady that um, counted the drawer, and my my drawer, my cash register was twenty dollars short, and it never been short before. I have never, I, um, I've never ever dealt with her on a personal level. Even when there was an issue about money, um, a customer blackmail being rude, and she was trying to explain to me how um, all black men aren't bad and something like that, off the subject of this customer being rude. Um, and almost um, jerking money out my hand. I, I didn't understand that either. But I, you know, I just listen because she's a manager now, and you know, I'm trying to give her respect. I don't know what I truly don't. I, I don't know. I truly don't. Whatever she tells me to do, I do it. She says sweet, I try to sweet. She says mop, I try to mop. She says do something, I try to do it. You know, I don't. You know, but if I ask her. Um, she tells me to ask her to move or don't just stand there and I literally because sometimes I have just stood there because I don't want to step on her toes and waited for her to move but this time I had the sanitizer um, towel the red towel and the fry station had crumbs on it so I wanted to I try to keep it clean 
and um this time i asked her i said do you mind moving and the, and she was and she was rude she was like um in a rude manner or i should say she wasn't rude but in a rude manner she she was like no or something like that i can't remember exactly what she said but she stood right there and um swayed me away i i can't remember exactly her words and I just walked away. Anyway, it led me up to try to uh, talk to her so we can have a cool setting. Because it matters. You want the energy to be um, decent while you're working. But, um, so, um, you want teamwork, you know. It makes the day go faster. In and out, you know. and Or it makes you want to, you know, it just makes... Um, the, people come in, they see people, they see the employees working together, that's a good sign. But if they see, uh, you know, employees, like, bickering, that is not a good sign. So, um, that's one of the things that I was, um, experienced today. But otherwise, I did pretty good. Um, I think, um, I cleaned the shake mix spinner twice. Um, I, I received a compliment on customer service, so it felt good. It's, um, let me close these. I, you might hear people laughing outside. I'm going to go ahead and close it. I closed this window so we get, we just walked in. It's June 11, 2019. So, um, this is not the first time. I mean, she literally, um, you would think that we are on a personal level and we're not. Since I've been, since I've worked with her, it's been this way. I don't know. It's like, uh, she, it's like I, I told her, I was like, this is not that personal with me. Just tell me what you need to do. I'm not going to get personal with you. I'm not going to, um, I'm going to be respectful. I'm not going to go beyond my boundaries of being personal with you. I don't, you know, in so many words, I told her that, you know, I, I don't believe, I don't, I'm, I'm not trying to go over my boundaries with anyone that I work with at Burger King, but I want to be respectful, respectful to who, the coworkers and the managers. So i don't i truly don't know it's like when she told me i stunk in front of everybody she's like you stink and i was like i do i'm over here smelling myself because i'm really good at smelling myself i was like i don't stink i'm and i asked her i was following her it's like show me where what are you talking about because she said this in front of the customers loud so um and um she wouldn't tell me she wouldn't even turn around to, to prove to me what she said and I told her I was it, it offended me because she if I did stink she could have taken me around the corner and say Rhonda you might need to go wash up or change your shirt or something but she just said in a rude manner and I didn't understand why once again I don't know her person or anyone that I work with at Burger King personally it's long uh, so anyway Dwayne Bath Bay it's June 11 2019 today uh, she I didn't know what was wrong with her and I don't know I don't know why she I don't I don't I don't get it I truly don't because um, I don't know. If someone, I, if if a cut, if a employee is doing what you tell her to do, uh, she knows that she. Well, you say sit, she say sit. When you say stand, she say stand. Besides being rude and cursing, I might address that. But otherwise, or uh, being um, uh, speaking out, like saying you stink loud, that I might address that. But otherwise. I don't understand why, you know. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. I'll talk to you later. Um, we're going to have um, meatless barbecue wings um, with um, kale and baked potatoes. It's long.